I'm getting ready to add a rear hydraulics and a top and tilt to my uh, Kubota tractor and there'll be videos on, on that coming up later. What I wanted to show you was an easy way for you to figure out how long each one of these hydraulic lines needs to be because it can be kind of hard to figure out especially if you're just trying to use a tape measure or something like that. The easiest way to do that is get you a hose and an air hose works really well because it's about the same stiffness. It's a little more flexible but it, it'll give you a really good idea. And just lay it next to a tape measure and I've marked off 18 inches, 24 inches, 30 inches, every 6 inches up this uh, hose because that's the sizes that I can readily buy pre-made, which you know makes them cheaper. And then, just so my outlets are going to be right across here, and I've measured the, the hose lengths from my outlets to the valve with this same hose to get a, a good idea. But I just want to kind of give you this as an example. So if this is going to be my hydraulic top link, I just say, okay, well, I'm going to plug it in right here, and then I want to attach it like that, and you can see how that, you can see how that hose loops around like that, and then you come back and you look at, okay, well, that one needs to be 36 inches. Same thing with this bottom one, you can say, okay, well, I'm going to come along, that's going to make that hose loop like that, it's going to plug in down here, and yep, that's another 36 inches. Now for my tilt, it's actually just going to go straight to the valve. So I'm going to run where my valve is up here, and I'm going to come and say, okay, well, it's going to attach right there. So then I look at my amount there, and that needs to be 30 inches. And you just continue. Um, so the idea there is, is just to use a hose like this instead of trying to use a tape measure or a string or something like that. Anyway, hope that's helpful to you. Thank you for watching.